the last concept of time speed distance is boats and streams here what is boat boats are two types one is rowing boat and other is motor boat whatever it may be it should have the speed and what is stream this may be motor boat or rowing boat and what is the stream stream is nothing but flowing water flowing water in the sense it may be river or canal whatever it may be what is flowing flowing water is called stream now how these are involved in the time speed distance what type of questions are asked asked in this pattern related to boats and streams say there is a lake which is still water what still water is called lake or pond and there is a river means water flows in a direction and there is a boat say this is a boat if the boat is rowing in still water or boat is driven in river there is a much difference between the speeds of two cases let us say if the boat is traveling in the still water if the boat is traveling in still water it should have some speed the speed for time being let us consider b means speed of the boat when it is traveling in still water here we learn the concepts of this speed of the boat in still water say it is b when the boat is traveling in the still water it should have some speed the speed of the boat in still water we are taking b now the river in the sense the water is moving water is flowing means it should have some speed so speed of the water this is also called current speed of the water let us take w speed of the boat in still water is b means original speed of the boat if there is no water force effect on the boat in which speed the boat is traveling it is the original speed of the boat in still water means no effect of the current on the boat is b if the water is flowing with the speed of w that is speed of water we are taking as w now in case the same boat is taken into the river which is traveling with the speed of b the same boat is taken into the river and driving two different ways one is the along with the water flow and one more is against to the water flow when the boat is traveling along with the along with the water definitely the speed of the water current supports to the boat so the speed of the boat must increase in case the boat is traveling if the boat is traveling in the same direction the speed of the boat increases boat speed increases in case the boat is traveling opposite in the direction of water flow the speed decreases if the boat is traveling in the same direction of water the speed increases if it is traveling in the opposite direction the speed decreases so in that case what actually the boat gets the speed if the boat is traveling
in the same direction of water flow. This is called downstream. In the sense speed of the boat increases. When the boat is travelling in the same direction of water flow, speed of the boat increases. Then it takes the original speed of the boat is B and again water speed W is supporting. That is why it gets the new speed it is B plus W. And in case the boat is travelling in the opposite direction. If the boat is travelling in opposite direction of water flow. What happens? Water is flowing in this direction and boat is in against direction. The current force opposes its speed. That is why the speed of the boat decreases. In this case, this is called upstream. This is original speed of the boat is B and W opposes. Then it decreases by W means B minus W. This is the upstream. So, in this case, for boats and streams, only these four are very, very important point. Speed of the boat in still water is B and speed of the water is W. When the boat is travelling in the same direction of the water, the new speed of the boat is B plus W. When the boat is travelling in the opposite direction, the speed of the boat is B minus W. These four points are very, very important and enough to work out any question. In uh, boats and streams. Now let us see few questions related to this. There's two few questions uh, on boats and streams. There is a question like this. A boat uh, can travel 11 kilometer in one hour along with the stream and the same boat can travel only 5 kilometer against to the stream in one hour then what will be the speed of the boat in still water? This is a question. So, what is given? A boat can travel 11 kilometer along with the stream. In one hour. And the same boat travel 5 kilometer opposite the stream in one hour. The question is what is speed of the boat in still water? Speed of boat in still water is the question. We use only those four concepts. What we learnt uh, till now in the basic concepts, B is speed of the boat, W is speed of the water, B plus W is downstream means speed of the boat in flowing water in the same direction and B minus W is speed of the boat in flowing water when they are in opposite direction means against to the stream. So in this case what is given here? Uh, a boat can travel 11 km along with the stream. When along with the stream, the boat is travelling which is called downstream. So it is given 11 km is nothing but downstream and 5 km opposite of the water flow means this is upstream. Here downstream is given and upstream is given that is in one hour and we need to find speed of the boat in still water means we have to find speed of the boat in still water is nothing but b b is equal to how much is the question first we need to analyze the question and out of these four what are given give the particular symbols or notations to the numbers then apply the exact values of this it is given downstream downstream is nothing but b plus w 
so given b plus w is equal to 11 why are we taking 11 exactly directly here is it is given clearly 11 kilometer in one hour means speed we calculate kilometer per hour in one hour it is given that is why we are taking 11 kilometer and one more thing is upstream what is upstream upstream is nothing but b minus w which is equal to 5 from this what can we calculate when it is asked b you can calculate b when it is asked w you can calculate w here speed of the boat in still water we need to find b if you need b add directly these two equations if you want w just subtract by adding these two equations we can find out speed of the boat in still water by subtracting these two equations you can find out the water speed here in this question we require speed of the boat just add them adding is these two gets cancels b plus b 2b which is equal to 11 plus 5 16 then b is equal to 16 by 2 it is 8 kilometer per hour is going to be speed of the boat in still water this is very simple question but only thing is need to understand the question when the, once the question is clear it is very easy to calculate here 11 kilometer along with the stream in one hour don't get confused the distance is given in one hour it is nothing but the speed even here the distance is given in one hour it is nothing but speed in case it is not given in one hour some other time calculate the distance per one hour then use the same technique so we will see another question uh, the same kind in downstream it a uh, boat can travel 16 km in 2 hours, the same distance in the upstream, it takes 4 hours. Then what is the speed of the water? This is the question. So it is given in downstream, it can travel 16 km in 2 hours. In upstream, a boat traveling 4 kilometer in 4 hour the question is what is the water speed a boat is traveling 16 kilometer in downstream in 2 hours it is taking 2 hours to travel 16 kilometer in downstream and to travel 4 kilometer in upstream it is taking 4 hour then what is speed of the water so as we know to find out the distance it must be calculated per hour it is given per two hours now to calculate w or b we need to write the b plus w and b minus w but the speed must be in kilometer per hour it is not given kilometer per hour so we need to convert the speed into kilometer per hour so for our solution downstream down what is the downstream is denoted by it is nothing but b plus w which is equal to 16 kilometer in 2 hour but we require that in per hour 16 kilometer per 2 hour in the sense in 1 hour what is the distance can it travel exactly half that is 8 kilometer per hour in the same way this is upstream upstream is against to the water flow it is given b minus w which is equal to 4 kilometer in 4 hour 4 kilometer in 4 hour but we need to find per hour how much for 4 kilometer 4 hour in the sense in 1 hour it travels 1 kilometer per hour we have to find the speed in kilometer per hour or meter per second here it is given in different hours that's why we converted into kilometer per hour now here we have two equations b plus w is equal to 8 and b minus w is equal to 1 the question is we need to find w as we know to find b add the equations to find w subtract the equations here we require w that's why subtract so on subtraction only these terms signs will change this positive becomes negative then negative become positive and this positive become negative b minus b gets cancels w plus w it is 2w which is equal to 8 minus 1 is 7 then w is equal to 7 by 2 which is 3.5 
what is the blue speed of the water it is in kilometer per hour so speed of the water is 3.5 kilometer per hour so this is very important when you are using the b and w values it must be in kilometer per hour or in meter per second here it is given kilometer in 2 hour kilometer in 4 hour we need to convert that into per hour then calculate even if you don't calculate this per hour i am taking exact values here 16 and 14 even though you will get something answer that will be given in abcd options be careful that leads to wrong option even the wrong options will be given in one of this abcd so careful about your ABC options contains this 3.5 km per hour which is right option without conversion if you take 16 and 4 here also you will get some answer that is wrong answer will be given one of this ABCD we should be very much careful so let us see another question In equation it is given like this a boat needs three hour for downstream and upstream means going some distance and coming back for going and coming back it is taking in all three hours and speed of the boat in still water is nine kilometer per hour and speed of the water is three kilometer per hour then what is the distance only one way distance of the boat the question is like this say for example a is one point b is one point the boat is traveling a to b and b to a so a to b and b to a the total time is given three hours A to B traveling and B to A going and coming to and fro you know together it is taking three hour and in this case B is given speed of the boat is given 9 km per hour and speed of the water is given 3 km per hour the question is just find out one way distance A B distance is equal to how much is the question is the question clear a boat is taking three hour in all while going a to b and coming back b to a to travel this complete distance it is taking three hour and speed of the boat is nine kilometer and speed of the water is three kilometer together it is taking three hour to and fro we need to find what is only one way distance a to b is the question so here we need to find the distance we don't know even uh, here the speeds of the boat and water is given together time is given here together time is given so better first we need to find the speed of the boat while going a to b speed of the boat while coming back b to a when we know the speeds and the time we can calculate the distance so it will work out like this say while going maybe along with the water or against to the water anything you can take say b plus w how can you calculate b plus w it is nothing but 9 plus 3 which is 12 kilometer per hour this is one way speed and while coming back or against to the stream it is 9 minus 3 6 kilometer per hour we don't know what is the distance here in this case it is covering the distances a to b and in this case it is covering the distances b to a but here both distances are equal a to b or b to a let us take the distances some d both must be same by because to and fro now in first case can we calculate the time because here the speed is given this is the speed and the distance is d with this can we calculate the time so time is equal to what distance by speed here the distance is d by speed is 12 and in this case the distance is equal to the time is equal to distance by speed again this is 6 
So this is a time in one direction, this is a time taken by the boat in other direction. But together it is given total 3 hour. So time in both the way. together is 3 hour. Here this is a one way time, it is other way time. Means this plus this must equal to 3. It is d by 12 plus d by 6 must equal to 3. Then by simplifying this you are getting d. How can you simplify? Simple. This 2 multiplied by 2, it is d by 12 plus 2d by 12, we are equating the denominators which is equal to 3. 2d by 12 plus d by 12 is nothing but 3d by 12 which is equal to 3. 3, 3 gets cancels, d is equal to 12. This is in kilometer. Why? Because we are taking here, this is in hour and this is in kilometer per hour. The distance should be in kilometer. So, one way distance is a to b is 12 kilometer in this case. This is how we can work out little bit typical questions also. Every time we may not expect direct questions, sometimes we need to convert, find out the required factors and from the information try to get the required value.